People's impression of me was a bit like Marmite in a sense, like people would love me or, or hate me. Sam Laidlow, 23 years of age. He has caused a rather large ruckus this week. Oh, I've, I haven't won nothing compared to you yeah, two guys. Yeah, you have won zero of 70.3. And I'm still going to be here. There's a degree of respect that can come <laughs> in the sport. I think you take it serious, too seriously. What's up, Sam Long? Uh, don't get me wrong, but you ain't that strong. I don't think I need to shy away from a bit of banter. The only thing I did wrong in my eyes was not win that battle. I was actually quite reserved as a kid, quite timid. I used to enjoy riding my bike here in the mountains and I didn't necessarily feel the, the need to be with people. I just generally enjoyed training. From a very early age, I've always been uh, quite driven and known what I wanted, which was to be the best in the sport. And uh, I've kind of dipped in and out of having that kind of confidence. I have a younger brother who's 10 years younger and he, he's naturally very confident. Um, I, I think I stole some of his confidence in a way or I certainly learnt from him. I did my first triathlon when I was four years old, uh, which is probably the youngest ever. <laughs> I think you had to be six or seven to do it normally, uh, but we kind of, we knew the organisers and we said it's okay, you can do it as long as your dad follows you during the race. They gave me a toy Porsche, so uh, hopefully one day if I, if I win enough prize money I can buy a real Porsche, but I'm not at that, <laughs> that level yet. When I was 13 I decided to move away from home and go to boarding school to do triathlon and then I kind of uh, dipped my toe in short course, had some good opportunities there. I was racing on the French Grand Prix circuit when I was 14. I was already on the start line with Alistair Brownlee and Gomez. I then kind of had enough with it, with the short course. I came back home, asked my dad to coach me uh, and said, listen, I want to I wanna make it to the top. Whether it takes me three years or 10 years, or even if I don't make it, I'd rather try and, um, and fail. 20 minutes will take the first Yeah, so People have won the world champs or I don't know, won big races, but few have done it, if any, um, being coached by their dad. And so that's certainly what makes my, my journey a bit, more, a bit more unique. I don't think my dad's the best coach in the world, but I definitely think he's the best coach for me. Um, and that's, that's all that counts. In the lead up to Collins Cup, uh, I was on, well, first of all, let's bring it back. I was on training camp with a, with a mate and we just like, I know some beat came on on Spotify and we just started rapping about the Collins Cup. We thought it was funny, um, other people didn't. That was even more exaggerated when I arrived there at the Collins Cup. Obviously all the athletes are there, which is, which is pretty unique. We see each other at the dinner table and uh, I definitely put my name out there. But that, that's because both me and my, my dad, who coaches me, we generally thought that I, I could beat them, and I, and, I, and I still do. I don't think I need to uh, shy away from a bit of banter. I've done it in the past with, with friends, and I think if it would have been anybody else, they would have just given it back, and uh, I, think, I think the sport needs a bit of it, to be honest. There's going to be more and more people that come in with bigger personalities and that's exactly what, what it needs. The, the, the sport can't evolve without the, the athletes which are at the centre stage and um, as I said, I'm just, going to, I'm just going to keep being me and see where that takes me because I was just there having fun and um, I'll continue to just do my thing whether it's in the rule book or not.
it was really tough uh, post Collins Cup with my family. Of course, um, they they came they came to the Collins Cup actually, uh, which made it even worse because I kind of felt like I could I could brush myself off quite quickly and just go and have a few beers and it would be over with. But um, seeing them down was obviously the hardest thing for me. But you can see Sam Laidlow headlong. He looks very very dejected right now. I do it for us, for the family name. Um, and so of course I just felt like I felt like the biggest humiliation and that's what I wanna that's what I wanna put put to rights, I guess, more than anything else is I just I wanna show who we are as a family and make sure uh, the values that we uh, that we share are the are the right ones and I don't necessarily feel like that was what I did in, in Collins Cup. This ring is my mum's old jewellery that convinced her to melt and get engraved with the coordinates of the Kona finish line. And what does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Whether I whether I achieve it or not, we'll we'll see. But um, it certainly makes me want to achieve it, and um, I guess that's all that counts is the whole journey to to get in there with the family. The sport of triathlon has given me so many good memories already, even though I'm, I'm 23. Um, but most importantly, it's just taught me that like, if you want something and you're stubborn enough, you can, you can achieve it. You know, and I, I, mean, I haven't achieved fully what I want in, in the sport, but um, I've already achieved a lot more than what some people would have thought is possible. I've always been on, on the cusp of, of achieving something and that's a, it's a difficult position because uh, you don't have necessarily like the, the results to back it up or stuff but um, I think we've always had both my family and I that, that little bit of hope and that hope comes mainly from me. I have to drive that. I have to drive that hope and I have to show my team that I'm confident and that I do believe in myself. I just need to now look at it as a job like any other job, there's good days, there's bad days, and, um, and you just you just move on and, and grow and learn from the from the bad days, and that's why I said even even this this result at the Collins Cup, which uh, which obviously was a massive a massive blow for me to lose. Um, I, I I generally feel like I needed like I needed that beating to to grow as an athlete and as a human. I feel like I have an ability to make my dreams become a reality and I don't know if it's because I'm just stubborn or, or what but um, I'm a guy I'm a guy who dreams at day and not at night I can never remember my uh, my dreams but uh, I certainly have some some big dreams through the day that uh, that somewhere along the line up until now they've uh, they've happened I just want to bring myself uh, try and be try and represent me and my family to the, to the very top, the values that we share. I don't want to take myself too seriously and I really want to enjoy it and show that I'm enjoying it. The moment of winning a race is, isn't, isn't what you remember. Uh, what you remember is the, is the having a drink on, on the beach with some people that you've just, I don't know, uh, raced or, or, the, or the after parties or the moments before a race where you're just having a, a small chat or when you're with family and you're celebrating a race. For me, that's, that's what you, you remember. For me, it's not just about the swimming, biking and running. It's, uh, it's about enjoying what I do. And at the moment when I go to bed at night, like I'm generally content, I just like, my lifestyle is pretty cool and I have my family with me, we're all healthy and that's, um, that's pretty unique. Triathlon is relatively small uh, and so whatever I achieve uh, when, I, when I finish my career I want it to have had a bigger impact than the sport itself and I, I think triathlon for me is just um, it's just my platform to, to share my values and be able to give back, I guess, in a way. 
I don't really care about um, about being seen as the best uh, the best triathlete. Um, that's kind of why I like coming back here where I live is because it's. I mean, I could I could win Kona and come back here, and the neighbour like wouldn't give a fuck about it. You can be the best in the world and still have your feet on the ground. I've learned lately to really enjoy uh, whatever this, this road is to get to the top. I want to use this platform, which is triathlon, to have a bigger goal and, and make, make sure that I feel content once I finish my career, because I don't feel I would be content necessarily with just a few race wins.